Greetings to all of you. I am Richard Wing, and this is what we call three good minutes, at least we hope so, for you. I don't know if you remember the story that Jesus told about the wise and foolish virgins. Remember how that went? Uh, they were going to a wedding feast, and in broad daylight they got there, and five of them brought enough oil in preparation for the night. And there were five that did not bring enough and later would be ushered into the dark. Uh, the basic message of uh, Jesus was not only be awake, but be prepared, just like the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts said, be prepared for that which is coming in your life. And then we ask the question, what does it mean to be prepared at all times? And that's a little bit about one of the interpretations of that particular parable. I remember the story of a chaplain at a boys school, all boys school, and they would come in there on Sunday morning and uh, he brought to them the story of the wise and the foolish virgins. And he made whatever points he was gonna make. And then he came down to the very end of the time and he made his dramatic question at the end. He said, boys, I'm asking you today, who would you rather be with, the wise or the foolish virgins? And one boy said, wow, what a choice. I think he went with the, uh, never mind. Uh, the thing that is being said here is that one, one author mentioned that uh, what happened in the night is totally irrelevant because it had to do with the preparations or lack of preparations in the daylight. I meet with prisoners often and I look at um, the non-preparation given to their lives. Nine out of 10 of them, you can uh, say, were put down as kids, uh, abused physically, sometimes sexually. And you can just guess that with, with nine out of 10. And, and the fourth was that they were not loved at all. No one looked at them and said, you're a neat kid, I love you. It did not happen. And most of them find their way into a life of crime, looking for love in all the wrong places. So, we pick up the message from Jesus, be aware, be aware, be present, and make sure that we recognize in the day in which we live that most of the behavior of young people is the natural result as they move into the adulthood of what was given to them in broad daylight as they walk into life so much has been placed in their lives in broad daylight. And the good things we plant in them will be enough for them to walk through all of the shadows of their life. May God bless us with understanding all the time of the parables that bring something new to us every time we look at them. I am Richard Wing and this is, for the moment, Three Good Minutes.